Hi guys. I was in a live earlier and I was mentioning that I was doing some watercolor painting papers. So um, a couple people asked me to do a video and I got a couple of messages when I got back from dinner um, asking me would I please do a video so they could see how to do it. So it's really simple, really. Um, the Dollar Tree sells this 12 pack of watercolors and it is two for a dollar and it lasts the right good while. This is the baby's pack here. Um, I have a couple other packs that I've nearly used up because I do a lot of watercolors. But I'm going to show you an easy way without a gel print to do painting papers that come out looking very nice. Any watercolor you have will work. Any, um, you know, those Crayola washable markers that they sell at Big Lots, they work. All you do is uh, scribble on a Ziploc bag that I have cut down the center. Whoa, I guess I should have shown y'all that part, but I wanted to be a little prepared when I came on because I have been rushing all afternoon. Okay, so I'm going to put some design on here with this marker. And this is a watercolor marker. But like I said, you don't have to use markers. I just prefer them for something like this because sometimes watercolor can get a little messy. And I'm going to put some of this blue in here simply because I like the color. And then I'm going to wet it. And don't worry if you don't have a spray bottle. Use the, um, your paper is going to be wet if you're using a palette. Okay. It says to put this. Wait a minute, I'll show you. Ta-da! But, the, you know, everybody says to do it like so. And I guess so it won't be so messy. I got a little bit too much water on mine. But, um, yeah, same effect. It works. I'll let this run off some. See if I can get a pen on here. It's already pretty wet, so. I just ate a large dinner at Red Lobster, so my sugar should not be low, but I am just dropping everything, so I don't know what's going on. But I'm going to try to get through this. And I guess, too, if you put it over this way, you can actually see where your ink is going. I like it because it's vibrant. Um, the jelly plate works fine. You know what? I have never even tried. Let me see. I have never even tried my jelly plate with watercolors. I don't use a jelly plate a lot. I use plastic or glass. Because my jelly plate stinks. From the first time you opened it, it smells like spearmint. And that is a smell I just absolutely cannot stand. I didn't even clean it up good the last time because it just, it smells horrible. Okay. I don't even know if I can, I'm going to wet it first just a little. 
Let me tell them what I'm going to get off of here because it's dirty. Let me see if I can use this on here. See, the marker doesn't want to go into Jelly Plate. And that's one the thing um, I was running into with, um, well, where'd it go? This kind of watercolor. It doesn't want to go on the plastic very well. So yeah, that didn't even do anything. Set this aside so I can clean it up. But, you know, I'm seeing more and more people that are joining groups saying, I can't do this, I can't do that, because I don't have this, I don't have that. Well, let me show you what you can do with what you do have. This is just simple copy paper. But you don't have to have copy paper. You can use any paper in the world. Um, if you have any alcohol, you can use alcohol sprays and just buy the Dollar Tree markers, clip them off, put them in a bottle. And it doesn't have to be a fancy spray bottle. These little bottles here are 99 cents at Walmart. Um... They have smaller travel size ones that I don't happen to have right on hand at the moment. But, you know, you don't have to have anything you've emptied out at home. Wash it real good. Use it. You don't have to go out and buy anything. I'm going to try this with the other watercolor now. Just to see, the Dollar Tree watercolor. Just to see what it will do. I can figure out how to open it, that is. Boy, this is a tiny, this is a really tiny little brush, but hey, I'm going to use it. Nicholas won't mind this time. Because he won't know either, but that's beside the point. So... Oh, I can't even tell if that's on there. I don't know. Something's going on with this Ziploc bag all of a sudden. Let me try this. That's the Dollar Tree. You already saw what the watercolor markers would do. This is what the Dollar Tree watercolor does. And hey, you might have to do your paper more than once, but to me, it's a brilliant color. For 50 cents, it's a real brilliant color. I really like it. Okay, this is the tube watercolor and earlier I tried this and it also beaded up in here. So let's see what it does now. I'm just gonna spread it out all over here so I can get it more on the page. I still like the watercolor markers the best. To me, they just come out more brilliant. This kind of looks dirty to me. I like the watercolor markers the best so far. Um, what other more watercolors do I have? I think I have some glitter watercolor here.
is is Crayola watercolor. So let's see what theirs does. And I teach a watercolor nature craft, so I've got a lot of different kinds of watercolors. So let me try this one. And that's another thing. You don't have to buy the markers to do the um, alcohol ink sprays. You can buy watercolor, break them in half, and put them in a spray bottle with alcohol, and it does the same thing. I like this Crayola watercolor. I really do. I mean, it's not expensive, but I just like it. I like the texture of it. That's pretty brilliant. That's about as brilliant as the um, marker pens are, actually. So, let me see. Um, I'll put some purple on here. The purple's a little brighter than this one. Now, I have seen these, and I have bought these in um, the larger Dollar Trees, and this is the Crayola brand, watercolors, washable watercolors. Um, around the panhandle of Florida is where I found them in the Dollar Trees. So... That's where I was teaching at the time, so I picked up quite a few, and I think this is the last one of them. So, this is one way you can use cheap and expensive things to do painting papers. Now, another thing you can use, um, let me find if I have, I'm going to see, get my Walmart paints. I just grabbed three. And, um, hmm, how's this going to work? I don't know. I figured it out. I'm just going to use the same bag. Now, this one, I don't think I'm even going to try to flip. I think I'm just going to put the paper down on the plastic. Crunch. I don't want that much. Well, I have it now. Do you know anything in there? Come out, come out wherever you are. Okay. If you have a glass sheet, like a glass old bacon, 
plate or a cutting board or something. That works really well. Actually, it works better than the plastic does to me, but I like working on glass. Yeah, it's thick enough. I can probably flip it over. This is probably going to be a mess. Well, let's get real interesting here. To me, it picked up better than my jelly plate ever has. And all it is is a Ziploc bag. I'm still not a fan of the jelly plate. I'm sorry. I'm just not a fan of it. I just, well, for one thing, I don't know why it smells like spearmint, and I just, it gags me. I can't stand it. It's been that way since I bought it. When I first opened it, I can't stand the smell of spearmint. Yeah, and this actually holds it a lot longer, too, and you get more bang for your buck and redoing it. So, yeah. I kind of like this technique with the um, Ziploc bag better than a jelly plate. And this is just using Martha Stewart, um, what is this, metallic, and handmade modern. Never heard of it, but it came from Walmart. Um, one more if I can find it. Oh, I hope I have it. I was looking for Nicholas's finger paints. I must have put Nicholas's finger paints in the other room. So these are my homemade alcohol inks. And they were made with Dollar Tree markers, rubbing alcohol, and just a little water. Now, isn't it funny that the smell of rubbing alcohol doesn't bother me, but spearmint just kills me? Oh, go figure, it's weird. I'm not even sure if these are all blue, green, or what anymore. That's a Dollar Tree marker. Um, this is actually the pack they came in. And it's by Jot. And there's a fine line of sorted colors. And you get 20 pins. And all I did, take the top off, cut this end off here, tap it down, and this comes out. I cut it into fourths, stuck it in this little bottle, and did my alcohol and water mixture. And let it set overnight, and uh, I had my alcohol sprays. Yeah, that's the same one. Either that or just picked up the same bottle. Well, great shot. And it depends on, I mean, you have all these different colors in there. You can make any color alcohol ink you want to, and they're brilliant. They're very vibrant with color. So, you know, it's what, a bottle of alcohol from Dollar Tree. Um, the Dollar Tree actually sells some of these bottles, but they don't have the three packs. Walmart does. Well, some of Walmarts do. You have to look for them. Um, sometimes they're in with the travel stuff, like the um, travel size toothpaste and stuff, but sometimes you'll find them tucked over on the shampoo or hairbrush aisle. It all depends on who's stocking that day, I guess. Yeah, I, 
I like these and I would show you a comparison. Um, let me see, I have this little nest. Okay, I don't think I do have my alcohol ink out. These are the glimmer mist. To me, it's identical, same color. Only this was very expensive. This was a gift. And I had seen them in the stores, and I know these aren't cheap. So, do you see any difference in the color? Not a lot. And sure, this, this is supposed to shine, but you know what? Put some glitter in that bottle. It'll shine, too. So, this is all I'm going to do for right now. Um, I'll make some more videos later. I did come in without my gloves on, so I need to get this stuff off of me due to allergies. But, um, I like it. And, honestly, let me do one thing before I sign off here. Okay. Uh oh, which one was it? Shucks, why don't we have to do two pieces of paper? Okay, this is it. This is my homemade. This is the Shimmer Mist by Tattered Angel. Let's see, is this my blue? This is my homemade. Can you honestly say that is more brilliant than that? I don't see it. I just don't see it. I think, I think you can make everything that is being sold just about, or you can find a substitute for everything that is being sold for far less. And that's going to be one of the things I'm going to work on showing you. How to do it and how to find it. Because this does dry a little brighter. Or it could be this is just so saturated. But I'll keep a watch on it and let you know. To me, I'm just as happy with this as with this. Maybe it's just me. Okay guys, I think I'm going to call it a night. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.